Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We got the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords with the Moon. So there's a King of Pentacles that um, could be watching somebody like secretly or something on the low. Incognito. So this 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 King of Pentacles is watching somebody in secret. It's hidden. You don't know whoever this is. This watch like you don't know that they watching you because they incognito. Hidden. We got the Ten of Cups and the Strength. This person secretly enjoys watching you. Like, this person... This person be happy secretly watching you. This could be one of their passions to watch you. And I'm not getting like no, it's not like no creepy, like, oh, somebody watching me. No, it's like this person enjoys, enjoys watching you. It make them happy. Like, it really make them happy. You use somebody's secret passion. Use somebody's secret passion. This man could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. A Cancer, a Pisces, or a Leo. With the four of cups to the judgment, this person could be discontent. This person could be discontent because they feel like you judge them. This person could also be a Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Leo. This person be like disappointed at the same time. They feel like they feel like you be judging them. I swear. <laughs> they feel like you be judging them or something. Does this man... Does this man feel like this person they be watching be judging him? Yeah, this man feel like you be judging him. This man feel like... But that's just all in his head. <laughs> that's an illusion. Like, even if you say, like, listen, when people say stuff, like, say, because whatever this is, you can speak. Sometimes when people say stuff, like, it don't matter what type of speaker you is. You could be any type of speaker. You could talk about anything or whatever you do. I was going to say platform. You could be on the internet or something. So sometimes when people say certain things, It don't mean that they're judging you or nothing like that. Well, I don't know. This person just feel judged by you. I don't know what you be saying. But they be feeling like discontent and disappointed. Like, 
almost sad, like, because they feel like you be judging them. But they be happy to be, like, maybe <laughs> they be still happy to, like, they still passionate to see you, like, do whatever you do. However you do it. Let me ask, though. <laughs> Let's see if you do be judging this person, because, hell, they might be on the side. Does this person be judging this person? No. Is this a judgmental person? No. This person don't be judging you. They not judgmental. I don't know what they do, but you just, whoever you is, you be all in your head. You be all in your head. You be all in your head. We got the Four of Pentacles. With the Eight of Swords, you be all in your head. This person is holding on to what they think. We got the Six of Wands. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius. This man could be a Sagittarius. A Gemini. You could be any of the signs that I name. He could be any of the signs that I name. But then you got this person's attention. And this person could want to communicate with you with the Knight of Cups. Or make you some sort of offer. But this person self-sabotages it all the time because they think that you are judging them. <laughs> self-sabotage is the five of swords. They think you hate them. I ain't lying. They think you hate them. And they either want to work with you or date you or just something. But they think you hate them. Ace of swords. Whatever this person wants with you, they're self-sabotaging it. It's, it's whatever you do for work. Eight of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords and then the Hermit. You could do some type of spiritual work. It's about what you do for work. So this person, can, you could probably see through people. Ace of swords, or you, or you could be a truth speaker. You give some sort of spiritual guidance or enlightenment here with the uh, Ace of swords to the hermit. With the um with this eight of pentacles. It's about what you do for work. This person enjoys your work, but this person just think you hate them. <laughs> this person think you hate them. We got um Libra and Aquarius is new. This person can have them signs in their chart, or you can have them signs in your chart. So the signs between you and this person, and then, yeah, the signs between you and this person, sun sign, moon sign, Mercury. Sun sign, moon sign, Mercury. Because it's about communication. Sun sign, moon sign, Mercury. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius. It's because of what you do for work. This person all up in their head. They holding back too. They holding back. 
I guess maybe even because they caught up in their head with the Eight of Swords. They trapped up in their head. They're holding back even. I guess bringing it to your attention in this offer because they think you hate them. They do. But them holding back is them self-sabotaging whatever they want with you because you don't hate them and you're not judging them. Like even like with, okay, like say you do what I do. You don't have to do what I do. You can deliver spiritual messages however you do it or give guidance to people however you choose to do it. But we just going to say, just for example, say you do what I do. Just because I deliver the messages that is brought to me, that don't mean I'm judging anybody. Like, if I was to talk to you or if I was to see you, I would still treat you with respect first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to judge you. Like, <laughs> I'm going to treat you with respect. So if you watch me and you be like, oh, she's a da 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 and you're going off of that, that's on you because I treat people with respect. Yeah, I might be getting on somebody's ass about what's going on, what I see. But when it comes to me with people, I always treat people with respect. Even when it's time for me to give somebody a reading. When I give them a reading, I ask them, do you want to be free? <laughs> because everybody don't like, and, and being that you're, everybody don't like certain things. Like somebody might not like that I cuss a lot. So I give you that option. Is we, is we being free? On for this read, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna respect your space. I'm gonna give you that respect. It ain't like I'm gonna give you a read and, and then I'm gonna just, <laughs> unless you need it, unless you need it, and you and you fine with the free for all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to you. But as far as when it comes to people, I was raised to be respectful. I respect people, period. You will rarely hear somebody say, my name, and say that this person just judged me right off back and they was just disrespectful to me and it wasn't nothing. Now I might have, somebody might have tried to hurt me or something like that and I might have to get with them or hurt somebody I love and I might have been like, well, hold up. Yeah. But just judging people and firing off on people, no, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And somebody might listen to me and think that that's how I am or that's how I'm going to come. No, I'm very respectful. Unless I have to protect myself or protect another. I'm respectful. So this is like kind of like, like with whoever you are, you're not judgmental and you're not judging this person no matter what, no matter what you say or no matter what you do for work, you're not judging this person. Like, you wouldn't judge them. It's all in their head. So whoever this is is holding back their passions for you. Keeping their keeping feelings to themselves, too, with the moon. Because they think you hate them. And it's not true. And sometimes people really need to ask, like, is this message for me? Like, you need to pray and ask, is the message even for you? 
you can't just assume that it's for you. Like I be telling y'all, like even with certain situations, it could be so similar to you. I could even name your sign and whoever else you're surrounded by sign. And it could be that, you know what I'm saying? And it might not even be your message. And then you got to think these is collective messages too. Like sometimes people give collective messages. It's sometimes it may feel almost personal, but at the end of the day, it's a collective message. It's not directed towards one person. I be saying this all the time, even when a message come out and it be like about me, right? And somebody could have been judging me and I didn't know nothing about it or nothing like that. And I'm and I'm, I'm saying the message. When I get done with that message, even if I say, oh, dang, this was, this message was for me. Guess what? There's people in the comments like, yeah, like, shit, that was for me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it is a collective message. It's not just for one individual. So I don't know if, I don't know if the message or whatever this person was saying was directed towards you or if it was really for you or, or what, but it got you caught up in a way that you are judging this person. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? You judging them. Thinking that they gonna judge, they judging you and they don't like you and they just hate you. <laughs> that's how you, that's like, that's how you feel. So let's see what would be this energy, what, what would be this person's energy towards you, whoever you are? Like, how would they come? Like, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to just see. Like, what would be, what would be this person's energy towards this man if this man was to speak to them? We got the page of swords. They gonna speak back. <laughs> they gonna speak back. They gonna be fair too. I seen the Queen of Swords. And then I seen the six of swords. Like they gonna try to find a peaceful resolution, not a not something crazy. They gonna speak to you. Look who just flipped over. The damn king of pentacles. They're going to speak to you. They're going to like what they 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 like to hear your perspective. Like whoever this woman is, this woman is clear minded. And yes, they have strong principles, right? But this woman is also intelligent. Like, this person, this woman, if they criticize you in any way, it'll be constructive. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be like, higher, whatever you think it, it ain't going to be like that. <laughs> it's not gonna be like that like this person is fair like this person is happy nine of cups queen of swords to the nine of cups it'd be positive basically like if you want to hear so oh look the hierophant to the six of swords like if you want some type of knowledge or something like that or if you want to This person to be willing to give it to you, it'd be their pleasure. You could be wondering if this person is single or in a commitment too. With the nine of cups to the higher front. But this is an open-minded person. They're not just going to like, they're a happy person. They're an open-minded person. They wouldn't mind, you know, sharing knowledge with you. Hell, they wouldn't even mind to know what you know. You know what I'm saying? What you know. <laughs> like, it's the Six of Swords. It'd be peaceful. 
calm. Healing, actually. <laughs> this person is in harmony. Like, they ain't finna... You know? So... <laughs> you just like, I ain't taking the risk. Because you look at her as the queen of swords. You like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I ain't taking the risk. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and my phone just digged in the other room. You like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> she not gonna bite you <laughs> she not gonna bite you this is funny <laughs> she not gonna bite you man is there anything else we need to know about this Oh, yeah. Y'all, even though it was the fool, she not gonna bite you, dude. You ain't gotta be scared. I'm gonna pull uh, from the moon deck real quick. You ain't gotta be scared. The lady ain't gonna bite you. As long as you are honest with this person and treat this person fairly, they ain't finna do nothing to you (laughs) or say nothing to you off the wall or nothing like that. We have a fiery climax approaches. A time for healing. I don't know if this is somebody you want to heal something with. Heal a situation with. And guess what just start playing? Um, is that Wale? Yeah, it's Wale. But who, who else singing? Listen to um listen to Wale featuring Jeremiah on Chill. Listen to Wale featuring Jeremiah on Chill. But it's a time for healing. Expect a powerful change. This person ain't no no, you know what I'm saying? No bull crap. Like whoever you are, you gotta feel like you good enough. Like it's about you. This is about you. Cause you're self sabotaging. You gotta feel like you're good enough to approach whoever this woman is. Because you are good enough. You could have a Virgo moon or an Aries moon. A Taurus moon. Them could be your moons. You one of them moons or something. But um, you got to know that you're good enough.
step out of your comfort zone. You could be in your north node. This person could be in their north node. But you got to know that you are good enough and step out of your comfort zone and stop being scary. Nothing will come out. Nothing will come of this situation. Meaning that what you think is going to come out of this situation is not. Prosperity lies ahead. So it's not nothing negative. It's something prosperous. Whether you're getting some healing from this person, whether you're getting some knowledge from this person, whether you want to work with this person, or whether you want to date this person. It'll be a fruitful situation and good for your journey. There could be a peaceful resolution here. But you can continue to run away from your, you know, because that's all you're doing. Because you trapped up in your own thoughts. You could be a celebrity. This person um, could be a celebrity. If not a celebrity, this person could be popular. You could be popular. Bottom line is they don't hate you. It's all in your head. Uh, find out if anything else we need to know and then let me get up out of here is there anything else we need to know no I'm going to pull a grateful heart message <laughs> you be so disappointed and discontent <laughs> Disappointed and discontent. This person is not. <laughs> this person not gonna get you. <laughs> Why can't you agree with me for once? Maybe we can be on chill. For the grateful heart message, it's always something to be grateful for, you know, to even get some information so you can get out your head. You and the, you and the king of pinnacles energy, you like, you know, immature man boss energy or whatever. Hey, walk like it, you know, move like it. Because how you moving? <laughs> You ain't uh, you ain't stepping. <laughs> you ain't stepping in it. Go talk to that girl, that woman, that lady. So we have here. Let us come to Yahweh with thanksgiving. Let us sing songs of praise to Him. Happy is the person who not only sings, but feels Yahweh's eyes on the sparrow and knows he watches over me. 
There is not one blade of grass. There is no color in this world that is not intended to make us rejoice. Shout with joy to Yahweh, all the earth. Worship Yahweh with gladness and come before him singing with joy. Yahweh is our refuge and a very present help in trouble. So the divine got you. You know you. He, <laughs> he know you shaking. <laughs> he know you scared. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to be scared of. Go talk to the lady, bro. Bro. Bro, go talk to the lady. It's going to be all right. But I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.